Hello, fiction lovers. I once again welcome you to my YouTube channel. One year ago, I made my first YouTube video, and since then, I have had a pretty good first year. I currently have 30 videos on my channel outside this video, and there is plenty for me to say today as I celebrate my one year anniversary with this update video. I'll be talking about some things that will be happening on my YouTube channel, and some of those things just might interest you. I hope you're ready, because I sure am. Hey, I'm Owen, the Fiction Fanboy, and this is channel update number two. I want to start off by saying that in my first year of making videos, I've been trying different things. On some of my earlier videos, I have had problems with the audio, and even I had a tough time hearing myself in some of my videos. After getting some feedback, I knew to make the volume of the music lower and the volume of my voice higher. It's sometimes hard for me to find the right volume for my music and voice, but I know I should do my best. Some of my thumbnails are also different from my current thumbnails. I figured I should have the text on the left and the pictures on the right so I can make the thumbnail readable. Sometimes the text will be in the middle and there will be images on the left and right. And that's all I gotta say about the thumbnail. When I make videos, I want to make images presentable. I have recently started adding borders in case some images blend in with the background. And I put the text on the top because there's a watermark at the bottom right of my videos. So hopefully, the text is more readable when I have it on the top. Let me know what you think of these details and if they are making my videos better. If they are making my videos worse, I'd like to know why, but try not to be mean about it, please. I do not have any new channels to feature on my FictionTuber section, so I would like to use this opportunity to acknowledge the one channel that I have been getting the most comments from, and he's made at least one comment on all of my videos. Give it up for Metal Sonic 420. Congratulations, Metal, and thank you for commenting on all of my videos. Your comments mean a lot to me. Anyone who manages to out-comment Metal gets a shout-out in my next channel update. Okay, YouTube comments aren't about competition. I'm joking about the shout-out, but I still like getting good comments. Moving on now. If you watched my Top 5 Netflix Cartoon Girls, you'll notice I had someone special with me before the countdown. Her name is Friction Fangirl. She is my melodramatic, lame female counterpart from another dimension. Since you didn't get a lot of time to get to know about her in the Top 5 video she was in, I'm giving her an opportunity to share more about herself with you guys. Use the mic, Friction. Thanks, Owen. Owen is Fiction Fanboy's real name, and I'm Friction Fan Girl. But where I'm from, my real name is Lesbelle Persephone, so you can call me Lesbelle. I'll be checking on Owen when he's starting videos every once in a while, especially since he has a thing for girl cartoons. That's probably why Owen doesn't have a girlfriend. Oh, shut the heck up, Lesbelle Persephone. Alright, sorry. Before I go, I just want to say that my boyfriend dumped me, and since there are no video games, TV shows, or movies in my dimension, Owen let me be a part of his YouTube channel. We don't always get along, but we're family. I'm glad I was able to talk to Owen's audience. Goodbye, and see you next time. Hope you enjoyed meeting Friction Fangirl, because we're halfway through the update. The six franchises that are currently on my channel are, are Sonic the Hedgehog, Super Mario Bros., Legend of Zelda, My Little Pony, DC Superhero Girls, and Teen Titans. But I don't talk about just those six franchises, as you may already know. I started a Super Smash Bros. inspired gimmick in February in my top five questions I have about Carmen San Diego video. When I talk about a new franchise, you'll see an image that's similar to the thumbnail for the video. And as the only way to unlock a fighter in Smash is to win a battle against the fighter, 
the only way to make the franchise join the channel is to make a video about it. And before the outro of the video, you'll see something like this. In my Summer Camp Island sketch video, I decided to not have the Challenger approaching image, but have the joins the channel image, because the former isn't necessary in a sketch, and you won't see these images in Dream Battles since I'd have to do one image for each franchise. I hope you're liking my gimmick, and if you think I could do better, feel free to let me know how. When 2019 began, I uploaded a top 5 video every Saturday, except this top 10, but still. Yet there were no top 5s in April. Why? Because I wanted to bring back the other types of videos I've done, and make a special April Fool's Day video. So instead of getting a top 5 every week now, you'll get a top 5 on the first and third Saturdays of each month. I want to do more dream battles, more 10 words or less parodies, more fancy sketches, and maybe more standard reviews. If there's a fifth Saturday in the month, I'll upload a video of my choice. And on days like New Year's Day, April Fool's Day, International Women's Day, or any other day I want to post a video, I'll post a video that day. For topics like best episodes of a show, that will be a top 10 instead of a top 5. I've got a Google form in the description as an experiment to see which kinds of videos you want to see from me the most, and I'll figure out what's best for you and me. Now before you vote, I have one major announcement to make, and it's the best part of this video. I was originally planning on celebrating my one year anniversary of my channel by reading some comments, but the video would be way too long because there were so many comments I wanted to read and respond to. Since there is still a way for me to see what it's like to respond to comments, I thought I should start a Q&A. I have to go over some rules before you start typing your Q&A questions. Rule number one, start your comment with Q&A. I get comments that are questions on my videos, so to make sure I know the difference between general questions and Q&A questions, I'm asking you to make your Q&A comments start with Q&A. Rule number two, channel rules are Q&A rules too. I don't want any questions that contain curse words. Don't ask me about R-rated movies, M-rated games, TVMA shows, you get the idea. I also don't want questions about porn, politics, or anything else non-family friendly. Rule number three, you can ask up to three Q&A questions. Since my channel is pretty small, I will allow each YouTuber up to three questions. I want to give everyone a chance to ask me questions, and I also want my Q&A to happen, so I hope to get a good amount of questions from a good amount of people. Rule number four, separate your questions in separate comments. It can be hard to feature a ridiculously long comment. So if you want to ask more than one question, have one question per comment you type. It shouldn't be hard for any of us, so do me a favor and don't give me a comment with more than one question. Rule number five, no request questions. I don't have a problem with taking requests for videos, but for my Q&A, I just want to answer questions. If you want to make a request, feel free. I'd like to feature comments on my videos, but please don't do it in my Q&A. Rule number six, no memes. Memes can be funny, but I don't want to get questions like, do you know the way? And I don't want anyone to make references to the recently dead Nathaniel Bandy meme. Memes die, guys. Memes die. Rule number seven, questions are due on 6-15-19. To make sure I have time to answer all Q&A questions, I'd like to ask you guys to have your questions ready by Saturday, June 15th. Any question that comes at 12 a.m. Eastern or later on June 16th may not get answered, so please don't take too long to come up with questions to ask. Rule number eight, have fun. The whole point of my channel is supposed to be a fun channel where I talk about the best kinds of fiction franchises on YouTube and see how much you like my content. 
My Q&A should be as fun as my other videos, so please let this be true. And that's all the rules I have. Now you may start typing in your Q&A questions. Alright guys, that was my second update video. Leave a comment on what you thought of this update, and like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, see you next time, and good night -o.